Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Coop L Works. Uh, these guys are in Oklahoma. This is the Rye Barrel Age DNR. And DNR to me, do not resuscitate. So don't resuscitate this beer. Uh, this is their Casket Series. This is a fairly big beer coming in at 12.5%. Uh, I don't have the IBUs on this beer. Uh, Brandon C. down in Texas sent this to me, and it is a corked and caged bottle. Uh, very nice looking bottle. It gives you uh, all that information on the front, and on the top it's got MMXV11. So is that 2017? Mm, I think so. so uh, let's see. 12, 12.5%. Uh, Oklahoma City. It says our DNR casket series perpetuates the cult following of an already popular beer by aging in a variety of barrels. DNR sophistication is taken to a new height as it soaks up unique identities of the barrels and creates nuanced flavors and aromas. We hope you enjoy these limited transformations and that you look forward to the experience of each original iteration. So, uh, and this is a Belgian style ale aged in rye barrels. And they've done some, a couple of different variations. Uh, uh, I think they may have done a brandy or a bourbon barrel, I'm not sure. Uh, this is the rye uh, edition of it. So, uh, we've got the commercial description. Uh, like I said, I don't have the IBUs, 12 and a half percenter. So, that's all we need to talk about, so let's try to get the cork and cage off this thing and hopefully it don't spew all over the, all over the place because these cork and cage versions of the bottles kind of scare me sometimes. Hopefully it's not over carbonated and it goes everywhere and it stays in the bottle. Cork is in there pretty tight as I am getting it to move. So here we go. Listen for the pop. Mm, not a big pop, so I think it's going to stay in there. I don't see anything written on the cork telling us anything that we don't know already. So into the glass we go. And while I pour this, I will tell you Cuisine's Barbecue cheeses a sharp blue cheddar, your stronger cheeses, meat is beef, grilled meat. Glass bar snifter, tulip, goblet, chalice, oversized wine glass. I got my favorite tulip glass. It says here you can sell her for a long period of time. I can't think of a reason why you could not. Phew, I'm getting a little bit of alcohol already. All right. To the glass. You've seen the pour pretty much down the center just about. Uh, looks a lot like a barley wine in the glass. It's kind of a brownish murky color. Not a light coming through it. There is a little bit coming through the thin part of the glass on the bottom here. But uh, looks like a brown ale slash barley wine in the glass. Very brown. To the nose we go. A little bit of alcohol. Like I said, I was smelling it before I even got it to the nose. 12.5%. A lot of times it's hard to hide that much alcohol, guys. I am getting uh, some of the uh, rye whiskey. Got a, pure, a very pleasant aroma, guys. Not getting a lot of chocolate, roasted malt. 
maybe a hint of some uh, sweet molasses. Maybe some dark fruit hidden in there. It's right out of the fridge. Uh, that may come out as it warms up. That's pretty good. Let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brandon. I do appreciate it, sir. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Definitely getting the barrel aging on that. A little bit of woodiness. Very pleasant. A little bit of spiciness from the rye. That's pretty tasty. Very pleasant. Very pleasant. A lot of the guys that's not used to drinking this big of a beer is going to seem probably pretty boozy. I can taste it. It's not burning or anything like that. But I can tell it's a big beer. But it's uh, very pleasant, guys. Uh, uh, this probably is going to be a winter. Uh, be a nice wintertime beer. Set by the fire or uh, gas logs or whatever. And these corked and caged bottles of these barrel aged versions are not cheap to buy. I'm sure this was a pricey beer for Brandon to pick up. So, Brandon, I do appreciate you spending your hard-earned money on this and sending it to me. Uh, I can't get these guys' beers here. And uh, they are, uh, Coupel works does do some nice beers, uh, especially uh, uh, when they barrel-age these, these type of beers. Uh, very nice. All right, guys, it's right out of the fridge. Let me let her taste it and sip on it for a little bit. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, Pretty impressive right now. So let me sip on it, see what we end up with. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on it for a while. Tasty beer, really, really tasty beer. Nice rye spiciness to it. Uh, it is a little bit on the uh, boozy side, not much. I mean, uh, it's twelve and a half percent. I mean, you gotta expect that a lot of times. Uh, uh, it's really hard to hide that much alcohol a lot of times. Uh, I enjoy this beer. It's very tasty. Uh, I like the rice spiciness from the barrel aging they did on this. Uh, roasted malt, uh, nice sweetness to the back end of it. Uh, very enjoyable. Uh, I did enjoy this beer, so Brandon, thanks again, my brother. I know this wasn't a cheap bottle of beer to buy when they're corked and caged like this one is and, and being rye barrel aged on top of that. Very nice. Very pleasant. Very enjoyable. A great final beer of the evening, which it is for me. <sighs> Smells a lot like a barley wine, guys. It really does. Big sweetness on the back end. If I was blindfolded, I would say this is a barley wine. So, uh, final cup. And the other half said the same thing. As soon as she smelled it and tasted it, she said, Is this a barley wine? I said, No, not really. It's a Belgian strong dark ale. But they're very similar a lot of times. So, uh, very enjoyable, guys. Uh, a minus for me. I'm going to give this a 92. Very nice. Very nice. Over to uh, Beer Advocate. They say 4.33. That's in their A minus range also. So, we're both in agreement there. And our final check-in, we'll run over to Untapped, and they say 4.2, also in their A- minus range. So, it's unanimous. A nice A- minus Belgian strong dark ale. The Belgian yeast is there, but it's a little on the subdued side to me. Uh, it's not that off-the-chain banana taste, uh, not getting that. A lot of times, those uh, will be subdued when they barrel age stuff, just like coffee is when they barrel age it too. So, uh, very enjoyable. I did enjoy this. So, once again, I'm going to say Brandon C. down Texas. Thanks again, my brother. I know this wasn't a cheap bottle to buy. I, if I was guessing, this was probably a $15 to $20 bottle of beer. So, very nice. Very, very nice. I did enjoy it. I'm not sure I would jump out and, and run and purchase this if it was available, but uh, it is very tasty, guys. You guys that can get this beer, uh, it's worth trying, especially if you're into the Belgian 
strong dark ales, uh, barrel aged versions. Uh, so if you've had it, let me know what you think. This is their Casket Series Rye Barrel Age DNR from Coop Ale Works. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.